What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video or welcome to my videos and today we're going to be making an iron farm so let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to want a flat space which I don't quite have so give me a sec while I fix that. There we go, that should be good enough. Um, I cleared out a lot more than I need to. But yeah, we're going to grab our blocks now, and you're gonna need water. You're gonna need a lot of water, but since I'm in creative, I can just use one. And then we're gonna need signs. A hopper, and chest. Now, if you're AFKing at these, you can make um, the storage system really big. I'm going to make mine a decent size. But we're going to start out by making a 27 by 28. So, let's get to that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25... There we go, that's 27, and then we're going to go 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And there we go. And then we just fill it in. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna come over here and grab this side as well. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. Now you're gonna need your water bucket now, and you're gonna to wanna to place it here, at one of the corners, and then at the other side, at the other corner. And then you're gonna build up, you're gonna break this block. And then you're gonna break this block. Then you're gonna take away the water. And then you're going to want to break the inside block. No, oh, whoops. And then you're gonna to want to break all of this out. So, you're going to go all the way down to here. And you can either dig this one more down, or you can build an extra layer. But I recommend doing that. I'm just going to build an extra layer, because uh, it costs less resources. Um, just in case. But yeah. So I'm going to get this out of the way. So I'll be right back. So I got it all dug out and I added an extra layer. This will, I just did this to keep a, um, the iron golems inside the farm and to keep other animals out. But you can dig it extra down. Uh, bleh, sorry. You can dig it a block down if you'd like. Um, but I'm just adding an extra thing. It takes less time and stuff. But now, you're going to go five over, but I just dig in the walls. So, right here. This will be, you can pick that side or this side of the farm, but this will be where you're going to put your water at. So, you're going to want to dig this out. And then you're going to want to take a water bucket, place it right here, go to where it ends, and start digging this up. And then you're going to do the, it again, but for right here. And 
and then one last time right here and then you're gonna go two into the wall place a sign right here and then you're going to want to dig out a little room for your sword system I'm simply gonna go with a chest and then a chest um, break into this wall a bit and there we go you don't have to cover this up but uh, since it is with villagers and stuff cats can spawn and they get clogged up right here and it causes lag and stuff so I'm just gonna leave this open but now we're gonna go in with some signs and whoops I missed there or misclicked right there but now we're gonna go in with signs and place them throughout here you can also use um If you really want, you can use, uh, what are they called? Gates. They can be easier to place than signs and less time consuming and stuff, but we're going to use signs for this part. And if you want to make it like look extra pretty, you can like go through and, uh, break the ground and add your type of block that you want to build it out of to make it look nicer. Um, but you don't have to, and you can just simply use, uh, the ground. I'm gonna kill this pig real fast. And now, we're gonna go in with even more signs for right here. And there we go. Now, I don't suggest placing in your lava yet. Um, but do this first. And then we're just going to place signs over here as well. And there we go. And now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the middle of your uh, thing. I simply do it by going for like this. And then doing the same thing over here. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so this is the center, and then we're going to go up here, like right here. We're going to dig this out, so it's like this, and you're going to want to block off this water, and then you're going to also do the same thing over here. This is where your beds are going to come in handy, which I forgot to grab. You're going to place in your beds right here. And then you're going to dig down one more. 
I'm gonna dig down this many. I'm gonna dig down twice for this. Just to make it easier. So we're gonna place our beds down in the same way down here. Well, we're gonna still need this. Because we gotta do the same to this side. Oops. Boom. All the beds are in. We're going to put this back. Make sure the water flows properly. No. And then we're going to cover this back up. Did I mean to place that down? So now you're going to need your tool benches and you're going to need about 20 of them and you're going to need your villagers. So we're going to go back to the middle of the farm where we're still at and we're going to go up here. Dig this shape out and dig down three blocks. And place your tables in here. And then you're going to want to place in your ten villagers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With your 10 villagers, there should be iron golems start to spawn. But in order to get more efficient raids, we're going to do it again over here. Dig down three blocks. Now, you don't have to do this second part. Um, but if you want more iron golems than just one spawning at a time, it's much easier and faster to do it like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No books. There we go. And then now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to place in your lava. Place it down over here. One, two, three, four. We're gonna every time we place in lava, we're gonna go four signs down from where we placed it to save on lava. Make sure not to hit the big guy that spawned. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This just helps save on lava so you don't have to place it on every single spot. And I'm just gonna place one at the end as well. And then now we're going to fill in with our water. And put it over here as well. Oh, whoops. I broke it. Whoops. Don't do what I did. But yeah, now whenever iron golems spawn because of the thing, they will drop and get killed. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to add the extra part where we need to get down here. There we go. And now we have a way of escaping. And then we're going to need to place in a ladder. Uh, where are my ladders at? Up there, here. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to, like, having all of this. It's really efficient, and I'm pretty sure if you want even more rates, you could move the iron golems to, like, 
I think maybe right here. And right here. Over here. And you had more, like 40 of them. You might get a lot more rates and stuff. But this works really well, and if you add more, I don't know if they will spawn outside of the area. Um, but yeah, this is not my design, actually. Uh, I haven't designed an actual one, I just wanted to let everyone know how to build one. So yeah, I will leave the actual video I got this idea from in the comments, or in the description, I mean. And yeah. If you, so, if you want, uh, a string farm as well, you can push this down one, and then add a campfire. Um, I don't know if that will stop the iron and, um, roses from going into the hopper, but you could try. But yeah, it makes pretty good iron. Whenever you log out, there is a short time period where, uh, iron golems just won't spawn. It's not very long, but they should start spawning again. And I think it's peaceful. No, it's normal. I don't know if this works in peaceful mode or not. I haven't tried it on peaceful mode. But yeah, this has been a how to make an iron golem farm in Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. This might work in Java as well. I don't know. You in Java, you could probably make a more complex one, and you could also probably make a more complex one in Bedrock, but simple iron golem farm. So yeah, have a nice day, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.